temporary control of all the spacecraft's critical functions, including control of the countdown from here on out. T-minus 16 seconds, the sound suppression water system has been activated. We're T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, we have to go ready to start, 2, 1, clear, booster ignition, and liftoff of Shuttle Endeavour with NASA's final space station crew compartment that brings a bay window view to our celestial backyard. flight to the International Space Station. 28 seconds into the flight, Endeavour flying at 1,100 miles per hour, 1.3 miles in altitude, and 7 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, according to onboard computers. Endeavour's engines are throttling down at the, as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum pressure on the vehicle. Endeavour, go at throttle up. Endeavour copies, go at throttle up. The three main engines on board are throttling back up. Now one minute, ten seconds in the flight. Endeavour flying at 1,800 miles per hour, 10 miles in altitude, 11 and a half miles downrange. At liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle, boosters, and external tank weighed four and a half million pounds. And the total thrust at launch was six million four hundred twenty-five thousand pounds. All systems continue to function well. Three good main engines, three good power generating fuel cells, and three good auxiliary power units for the hydraulic system. The next step will be the burnout and separation of the solid rocket boosters. Combined, the twin boosters provide 5.3 million pounds of thrust to propel the orbiter towards space. Endeavour performance is as expected thus far. Two minutes, 19 seconds into the flight, Endeavour flying at 3,700 miles per hour, 35 miles in altitude, and 49 miles downrange. The propulsion officer confirms that the orbital maneuvering system engines are firing, providing Endeavour with its extra boost to orbit. Endeavour, two engines, Zaragoza. Engine Zaragoza. Now three minutes and four seconds into the flight, that call indicating and Endeavour could reach Zaragoza in the event of a single engine failure. However, all three main engines continue to operate well. Endeavour's computers showing it flying at 4,600 miles per hour, 50 miles in altitude, and 98 miles downrange. Endeavour, negative return. Copy, negative return. Four minutes and three seconds into the flight, Endeavour is now flying too high and too fast to return to the Kennedy Space Center in the shuttle landing facility in the event of an engine failure. Endeavour is flying at 6,000 miles per hour, 63 miles in altitude, and 180 miles downrange.
Endeavor continu continuing on track. Endeavor, you are pressed to ATO. Copy, pressed to ATO. Five minutes and 18 seconds into the flight. That call indicating Endeavor can now reach a lower than planned but a safe orbit on two engines should one fail, but all three engines are still performing well, as are the auxiliary power units and fuel cells. Endeavor, single engine, ops three. Endeavor copies, single engine, ops three. Five minutes, 50 seconds into the flight. Endeavor could conduct a transatlantic abort landing on one engine should two fail at this point. Endeavor, single engine, Zaragoza. Copy, single engine, Zaragoza. Endeavor could reach Zaragoza on one engine should two fail at this point. Endeavor, you are pressed to Miko. Copy, pressed to Miko. Six minutes, 22 seconds in the flight. Endeavor can reach the planned orbit on two engines. All three engines continue to operate well. Endeavor Houston, your shutdown plan is nominal. Go for the plus X, go for the pitch maneuver. Nominal shutdown, go for the plus X, go for the pitch. Endeavor flying at 12,000 miles per hour now. Endeavor single engine press. Copy, single engine press. Seven minutes, eight seconds in the flight. Endeavor can reach its planned orbit on one engine should two fail. However, all three still performing well. Endeavor is now at an altitude of 64 statute miles, 606 miles downrange. The three main engines are now throttling down to maintain structural limits on the orbiter as it passes or approaches loads near three times gravity. Seven minutes, 40 seconds into the flight. Eight minutes, 10 seconds into the flight. Endeavor continuing on track, all systems performing well. Booster officer confirms main engine cutoff. Endeavor Houston, nominal Miko, ohms one not required. Copy, nominal Miko, ohms one not required. And the external tank has separated now. Nine minutes into the flight of the Space Shuttle Endeavor on STS-130, the crew will be preparing for handheld photography of that external tank with a Plux X maneuver of the orbiter to position Endeavour correctly. Mission Specialists Bob Bankin and Kay Heyer are quickly getting ready to capture that imagery.